Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. I'm now going to be going through question number one from the um, the June stroke October 2020 Pure Mathematics P2 International A Level Edexcel paper. Now, this question here, or this paper here, was supposed to be taking place in June, but it it was cancelled due to COVID, so it took place in October instead. And they kept the cover the same. Um, probably they already printed them all, so it kept it as 20th of May 2020, but in fact it took place sometime in October. So um, it's actually the, the June session was basically cancelled. So for this year there'll only be like the January, for 2020 will be the January and there'll be this, there was only this session as well. There was no summer session that took place. Okay, so now uh, question number one is about binomial expansion. It says, find the first four terms in ascending powers of x of the binomial expansion of this um, bracket. By the way, um, before I start, if you would like a PDF copy of this paper, you can go to the description below and click the link to the playlist for this paper, where I will collect together all the other questions that I answer from this paper. And in the description of the playlist, you will find a link to the PDF for this paper and um, also, you'll find links to other um, A-level material in the description of this video below. You'll see some links taking you to some of my other A-level and also IGCSE material that you might be interested in watching. Anyway, uh, find the first four terms in ascending powers of x of the binomial expansion of 2 minus x over 4 to the power of 10, giving each term in its simplest form. Now, when we're dealing with P2 binomial expansion, by far the easiest way to deal with it is to use the um, NCR button on our calculator to find um, the coefficients that we need, the main coefficients that we need. Okay, and basically what you do is you just you write your bracket out, and I like to write, we have the first four terms, so I'm just going to put like um, one, each one row for one term. So I'm going to have four different rows here, and each row I'm going to put like a three brackets like this and you'll see what I'm, I'm doing in a minute okay this just makes it everything very clear okay so the first bracket is for our NCR okay so we're gonna we start here with the highest power so the highest power is 10 so you're gonna have 10 on each of these tops and then we'll start with 0 and then 1 and then 2 and then three those are the first four terms one two three four okay so they want it in ascending powers of x so in this bracket you're going to have a two in this bracket you're going to have minus x over four in each of these cases you're going to have the same thing in each of these brackets but what will be different is the powers so here will be two and here will be minus x over fours okay now if you want ascending powers of x that means this has to start from the lowest and get higher so 0, 1, 2, th and then 3. And this one has to start from the highest power, which is 10. The highest power, which is 10. So that number 10 goes over here. And then this increases by 1. So the, the because we want the x in ascending power of, of in, we want to express it in ascending power of, of x, the bracket with the x term in it has to start with 0, then increase by 1. You'll notice these always have to add up to 10. Okay, so this actually goes down by 1. So 9... Then you have 8, and then you have 7. The powers must always add up to 10. And that that's basically set up now for us to get our answer. So I know that I have to find 10C1, 10C2, 10C2, 3, and write them down and continue. So let me just go ahead and do that. Okay, so I've got my calculator. And we're going to use the NCR button to find the main coefficients, which these give you. So this is like using the button that says NCR. Okay, that button, which is above the... A division side to to um, access it you have to press shift so I'm going to press 10 then shift and then the NCR button and then 0 I know this is equal to 1 but just to show you that's going to be 1 okay and I know that 10 C1 is going to give me 10 it's always the same as that number when it's a 1 underneath okay so and I can just uh, just to confirm it just to show you 10 C1 is equal to 10 and then 10 C2 okay I can uh, basically replace that one with a 2 and that's going to give me 45. So this is going to give me 45. And 10C3. Just put some space there. 10C3. 
Let's change the 2 for a 3. And that gives me 120. Okay, so that's the first part. Then I'm going to have the second part, which is 2 to the power of 10. I think that's 1024. And 2 to the power of 9 is a half of that, which is going to be 512. And 2 to the power of 8 is a half of that, which is 256. And 2 to the power of 7 is a half of that, which is 128. Okay, that's uh, just raising 2 to the power of 10. And then 9, so 2 to the power of 10. As you can see, and then 2 to the power of 9. As you can see, 2 to the power of 8. Basically, you're dividing them by 2 each time when you're going down by 1 power. 2 to the power of 7, 128. Okay, and then you're going to have minus x over 4 to the power of 0, which is 1. Okay, so 0 is considered as an even term. So therefore, you can say that uh, if you raise something to the power of 0, if it's negative, it becomes positive. Anything to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Okay, and minus x over 4 to the power of 1 is going to be minus x over 4. And minus x over 4 squared, well, you're raising it to a, an even power, so it's going to be positive. You're going to get x squared over 16. And negative x over 4 to the power of 3, you're going to get negative x cubed over 64. And now we can write down the actual terms by simplifying these. Now, be very careful when you're writing this out, by the way. You have to put this sign in as I have. Don't just write x over 4. If it's minus, you put minus x over 4 inside the bracket. Okay, now I'm going to um, just, this is of course 1024. And this is going to be 500 or 5120 divided by 4. So let's just uh, use a calculator for this. So it's a 5, 1, 2, 0 divided by 4 gives me 1280. That's one, well, it's negative 1280x. This is going to be um, 45 times 256 divided by 16. So 45 times 256 divided by 16. That gives me uh, 45. 45. Be very careful when you calculate it. That gives me 720. So that's going to be plus positive 720 x squared and finally the last term you're going to have that's going to give you a 2 here by the way isn't it All right, 64 divided by or 128 divided by 64 is 2 that's going to be 240 so minus 240 x cubed okay just to confirm it we've got 120 times 128 divided by 64 gives me 240. So now I can say that my expansion, which is 2 minus x, okay, I need a bit more space here. Let me just sort that out one second. Okay, so I've got 2 minus x over 4 to the power of 10. So I've got 2 minus x over 4 to the power of 10 is equal to, you're going to have, the first was 1024, yep. 1024 minus 1280 x plus 720 x squared minus 240 x cubed and that's as far as we needed to go because it asks us to expand up to the term in or up to the full fourth term the first four terms in ascending powers of x so we made sure that the um the term which has x in it is in the bracket that the power is increasing. That was the important thing to do here. Okay, now for question part B, it says, hence, find the constant term in the expansion of this bracket. So we've got to find the constant term in this expansion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this first bracket and write it as, because it's just squared, it's pretty simple to do. So you square the first term, that's going to be nine. And then you're going to have 3 times minus 1 over x, which is minus 3 over x. Then you've got to double that, so it's minus 6 over x. That's the middle term here. And then you've got to square the last term, which is going to give you plus 1 over x squared. Okay, that's the square of this bracket here. If you wanted to do it the long way, that's fine. You can do this. And you see you get the same thing. You have 3 times 3, which is 9. 3 times minus 1 over 3x, which is minus 3 over 3, minus 3 over x. And I've got another minus 3 over x, which gives me minus 6 over x and plus 1 over x squared, same thing. Okay, and I'm going to multiply that by the expansion of this, which 
because it says hence it means using what we already found well we already found up to here so we can use that so we have 1024 1024 minus 100 1280 um, x plus 720 x squared minus 240 x cubed plus dot 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 okay so now we have to find the constant term when you expand this now the constant term will be the term where you end up with a constant when you multiply the terms now of course nine times so if we compare the constants if we look at the constants not compare them we see what the constants will be when you expand this you will have nine times 1024 that's going to give you a constant and when you do minus 6 over x times minus 1280x the x's will cancel as well these if you multiply this term by that term the x's will cancel leaving you with a constant if i multiply 9 by any of these other terms they won't there will be a constant left only 9 times a constant will be a constant but minus 6 over x times a constant will give me a term with an x in the denominator that's not a constant but minus 6 over x times this term is going to give me a constant so the coefficient of that is going to be positive because it's minus times minus which is plus six times 1280 okay and then the x 1 over x squared part when you multiply that by the x squared term the x squared will cancel so you're going to have 1 times 720 which is positive 720 and all the other terms that you multiply together will always have some x either in the numerator or the denominator will have an x term in there so the only term or the constant term when you expand this is going to be the, uh, the what we got here and as this doesn't go up to x cubed or x to the power of four you know all the other terms of past this wherever they are will always have x x um, in them x squared x cubed x to the power of four whatever so the only these will be the only constant terms if i multiply this with this okay no matter what comes after it you know even go all the way up to the last term you know, it will only be up to the x squared term that you'll end up with constants because you multiply constant by constant, you get a constant. You multiply something divided by x by something multiplied by x, you'll get a constant. You multiply something divided by x squared with something which is multiplied by x squared, you'll get a constant. And everything else here will give us x terms. So this should be the constant term or the coefficient of the constant term. So we can say the constant term, well, coefficient doesn't is that this doesn't have an x with it so it's just going to be this what we when we multiply this out together so we're going to have um, 9 times 1024 plus 6 times 1280 plus 720 and that will give us 117,616 17,000 616 and that is the coefficient or the constant term in the expansion of this and there we have finished question number one okay uh, other questions from this paper as i said you'll find them in also in this playlist that should appear somewhere on the screen at the end of the video another playlist here will take you to questions to do with binomial expansion from p2 you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link in the middle of the screen here and on the top of the page, you'll find a link take you to some other P2 paper you might be interested in watching. Thank you for watching and see you again soon.